Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. We can start the third section about data analysis, results, and the rest of the things. Rest of the sections of the paper. Yes, sir. So, sir, in this case, uh, like what is required basically, uh, I'll show you that how we have worked out, but what is required is that uh, first of all, we need to show that, you know, that the data is uh, clean data. So we have to uh, detect the outliers, we have to remove the outliers, and then we need to establish the normality of the data also if, you are, if we are using any parametric test. So in that case, like because in this case, we have used the regression also. Beside that, you know, we have used the uh, structural measurement model, structural model also. That is same. We have used statistical modeling. We have used so for that we have established the normality also, and normality uh, we have established by uh, by revealing the value of kurtosis and the skewness. You can see that kurtosis value is 0.346, and skewness value is 0.174 within the threshold limit also. That is between plus minus one. So this is what is actually required also from this. And I mean, very in a very brief uh, manner, you everybody has to talk about the, if you are using a parametric test. So then we, we have also talked about the measurement assessment. So measurement model comprised of these three constructs only, co-creation of value, consumers need for differentiation, word of mouth, and item loadings, they were above, um, I mean, above the threshold limits, wrong 0.50, statistically significant also. And from this uh, table also, we can see that uh, this is first table of descriptive statistics. We can see that all the SRWs, they are above 0 0.50. The T values, they are also above 1.96. So composite reliability above 0 0.90. AVE value is above 0 0.50. That is the threshold uh, value limit. Alpha value, they are also above 0 0.70. Above, I leave above 0 0.75. So you can see that all the values, you know, they are above and uh, we can see also the mean and the standard deviation if you remember sir in the scale development and then finally when we talked about the scale refinement there we talked that you know we remove the items in which case the value was below four because there it was a seven point scale so uh, in this case you can see that no item has a mean score which is less than three three is the midpoint in this case and uh, the standard deviation is also above most of the cases standard deviation is also above 0 0.90 sir so yes, one one term is there srw it is standardized regression weight standardized regression weights yeah. effector loading standards yes sir standardized regression weights yes sir so we have given the description here, ST is standard deviation, SI, and this is what a scholar has to do. So whatever abbreviations we use, so we need to provide the full form of those abbreviations at the end of the table. This is what we have done. So then we, uh, so you can see that the, as the AV is greater than 0 0.50, composite reliability is above 0.90, alpha value is above 0.75. So convergent validity gets established. Then we establish the discriminant validity also. And, um, in the table you can see the table two so here you can see that you know the ave of c ccv that the co-creation of value which is 0.869 so this ave is greater than the squared multiple correlation between the consumers need for differentiation and co-creation value the and between word of mouth and co-creation of value similarly in case of consumers need for differentiation the AVE is 0.692, which is greater than the its uh, squared correlation with the word of mouth and CCV. So, I mean, this is what we have established by using the uh, Lecker and uh, Carnell and Lecker and for Cornell and Lecker's uh, approach. And then we have also shown the model fit indices. So these are the CCV in this case, second order. Consumers need for differentiation is also a second order. Word of mouth is a first order. And then theorized model, the entire model, which is uh, your measurement model. And then we have also looked for an alternative model. So alternative model to, in order to establish the robustness of the theorized model. So in case of, you could ask me that what we have done in case of alternative model that reversed all the links, they were reversed, the relationships, they were reversed. So, so you can see that you know the theorized model is uh, is a better fit model as compared to the alternative model. Oh, and then the model uh, this uh, shows that you know if you can see that all the GFI, CFI, NFI, TLI, I mean if they are not uh, greater like in one case it is almost close to 0 0.90. Otherwise, all the values they are above 0 0.90. Yeah. 
and Ramsia, uh, except for an alternative model, yes, sir. Uh, the, the alternative model you have taken to address that issue of reverse causality. Yes, sir. Reverse causality. Yeah. Yes, sir. Reverse causality. Yes, sir. Thank you. For that. Uh, and otherwise, also, sir, I would suggest here that unit is always better uh, based on what the literature says. In certain cases, sir, when you would find that because we are talking about the mediation also. So what we can do is in the first instance, we can introduce only the direct relationship if there are supposed three variables. So we can introduce only the direct relationship. Then we can introduce the fourth variable as a mediator. Then we can see that how much is the, I mean, how much the model fitness improves. So, and then we can also, if, if there is a moderator, so we can always look for the effect size. How much is the change in the effect size? So, I mean, that, that is always better that if we can uh, propose the alternative model just to, just to prove that our model theorized, the proposed model is actually a robust model. And right. it is required also. I think one should try doing that. Right. And ma'am, we, huh? we yes. have taken CCV, C and FD, it's separately. Like only this in the second order in the Amos diagram, no other way. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Actually, what I did was that you know, CCV as a separate construct, C and FD as a separate construct, word of mouth as a separate construct. So, I mean, these all have been considered initially as a separate. And then when you talk about the theorized model, so there what we have done is we have shown those, you know, those covariances they were drawn. Measurement model was also worked. And the yes. mediation model you have drawn. Yes, sir. Then that case. So mediation was worked on later on, but initially it was the measurement model. Measurement. Yeah, on. or connecting all of them by two sided. Error. So yes, the, yes, sir. the connecting. scholars should pay attention here. The CCV, CNFD as a separate is not possible in the smart PLS. Uh, they should know this oh. thing. This is possible only in the. Yes. Hour. It's not possible Amazon. in the smart PLS. So if somebody oh. is uh, working on the smart PLS, they should not uh, try to get this uh, individual one. It won't be possible there. It's property yes. of Amazon. Uh, I prefer using Amazon only, sir. <laughs> not PLS. I mean, so far I have not used PLS in uh, any of my research work. Uh, and so one thing more, one thing more that, you know, uh, we also need to establish that, you know, common method bias is yeah. not an issue with our data set. That is also required. Yeah. Though in our study, uh, what we have done is we have only we have only used one method, which is, if you can see that, you know, Herman single vector method. I told you, this is a very old paper, you know, though we tried to update the literature, but uh, at the same time, you know, we worked only on Herman single vector, but I would caution the scholars here that Herman single factor is not an acceptable approach now. Mm -hmm. So what the reviewers they expect is that, you know, their expectation that, you know, that one should go for the marker variable uh, or maybe a latent common factor model. Mm -hmm. So these are the two acceptable approaches to work on the common method bias. But we need to report common method bias also. Why? Because we, we have contacted only one set of respondents, mm -hmm. only the consumers. Had it been like, you know, contacting the boutique owners also or contacting the employees also, then this question would not arise. Yes. When right. we contact the multiple respondents, multiple set of respondents, then common method bias, we need not to discuss about the common method bias. But because we are contacting only one set of respondents, only the consumers we have contacted. So in that case, we need to discuss about the uh, common method, uh, common method bias also that it is not variance is not an issue in our case. Mm -hmm. And uh, after going for the, uh, I mean, once you are done with the measurement model, then we have discussed about the structural model and hypothesis testing. So we got that, you know, in our so first hypothesis, which was regarding the co-creation of value and consumers need for differentiation. So we can see that, you know, it, it is accepted because the beta value is 0.77. So this hypothesis one is accepted. Now in the second hypothesis, sir, where we are establishing a link between consumers need for differentiation and word of mouth. So we saw that, you know, the relationship was negative. It was 0.66, though significant, but negative. So we had to reject our hypothesis too. Okay. So it means that consumers need for differentiation does not lead to positive word of mouth. Mm -hmm. So we have given a support here. I mean, one study in this context, Frank and Scherer 2008 revealed that to maintain differentiation, a consumer misleads other consumers about the service provider so that no one can imitate the design. 
Very true. So, I mean, that is also required. So, if your hypothesis gets rejected, well, should I tell you that, you know, in the discussion section, basically, we need to talk about such hypotheses which are not accepted. Or, or maybe the hypothesis which are accepted there, we need to talk about the previous studies, I mean, which also, in which case, they also found the same results. So literature support is there, I mean, it is required and we need to discuss about the previous studies which have supported our finding and the previous studies which do not support our findings. So that, that is part of discussion. So then so talking about the mediation, because the third hypothesis was on the mediation of uh, consumers need for differentiation. So what we did, we followed the Zhao's approach and followed by the Hayes process also we carry out post hoc analysis using the bootstrapping approach in this case. And the results reveal that, you know, though it mediates the link, consumers need for differentiation mediates the link between co-creation of value and word of mouth, but the direct link between co-creation of value and word of mouth is also negative. Okay. So we got two negative uh, relationships. Uh, Mm. Consumers need for differentiation to word of mouth is negative, minus 0.66. Even from the co-creation of value, that is from the independent to the dependent, this relationship also turns out to be means the co-creation of value would also lead to negative word of mouth. It is not only for differentiated product, but otherwise also their direct link is also negative. So, so that is uh, what we found in our, I mean, this uh, the results of our study. So then we you were talking about the alternate model, the reverse causality of the structural relationship. So we looked into it and uh, this model was not a better fit as compared to what we proposed. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the table also. This is the table, sir. If you can see the co-creation of value to consumers need for differentiation, it is positive, 0.77. Consumers need for differentiation to word of mouth is negative, 0.66. Co-creation of value to word of mouth, it should have been only one sided arrow. So it is minus 0 0.27. So you can see that the direct relationship is also negative, which yes. means so now what the marketing researchers they are talking about is very much correct. So they, they are talking about the dark side of co-creation of value, which means co-creation of value, whatever type you talk about, it leads to negative word of mouth. It is not only the need for differentiated product, but otherwise also because you are involving them and what uh, what we have, because this is now what we are so doing now, the, the next project, the next paper which we are writing is, that is talking about the, the resource integration, the resource sharing, where the resources which are being shared by the customers or the consumers, if those resources they are greater than the resources shared by the service provider, then in that case also the uh, consumers, they would not spread positive word of mouth. So that is that is the other part of I mean an extension to this uh, paper. So in the in the discussion section, what the scholars everybody has to write on the paper is basically like in our first hypothesis from co-creation of value to consumers need for differentiated product. That is positive significant hypothesis times acceptance. But we need to provide the citations, the references here. The references means the previous studies. The, the findings of the previous studies to which our study also confirms. So the support which our study provides to the earlier findings. So we need to we need to talk clearly about those papers, those studies, uh, in which case you know we are also finding the same or the similar results. But now with regard to it was you know the more <clears throat> concern was regarding the hypothesis three. So if you would go as per uh, what is written uh, that our key finding is interesting because of the negative relationship between consumers need for differentiation and word of mouth, resulting in the rejection of the second hypothesis that is consumer need for differentiation is significantly and positively related to word of mouth. Consumers seeking uniqueness in fashion products intentionally spread negative word. So in our case, it is negative word that has become clear. It is not no, no word they would spread, but they would spread negative words as they do not want other consumers to imitate their designs. So Partha Sarthi and Porlini 2010 also found a negative and significant relationship between one of the innovation attributes and word of mouth. From this perspective, Chima and Kakati, so, <clears throat> I mean, we need to find the literature for it. 
they also found that consumers having a strong preference for consumers need for differentiation generally do not spread positive words for the suppliers or the service provider they observed that the negative effect of word of mouth is greater for publicly consumed products so the the products which you are consuming in public so like in our case also you are i mean you are wearing your those apparels in public so you would not spread positive words you would rather go for negative words a product that makes a person feel distinct has the potential to attract the attention of others and these people they feel uneasy if others imitate the design or possess the similar products with regard to our third hypothesis uh, that is uh, the findings reveal that consumers need for differentiation it influences the negative word of mouth so therefore during the process of co creation of value providing innovative or distinct product to consumers so we need to give references here you know the we need to bring here the the earlier studies the findings of the earlier studies with the process of co creation of value providing innovative or distinct products consumers may not always be beneficial because it could lead to no acquisition of new consumer when we so when we talk about the negative word of mouth or even no word of mouth so we are not bringing more business to the service provider or to the firm Correct. so there is no acquisition of the new consumers otherwise a word of mouth what is uh, what we started i mean since ages what we are starting is that you know satisfaction leads to word of mouth word of mouth means you are attracting other consumers and which is a uh, cost free yeah i mean Probably company has to pay nothing yes sir so i mean that is cost free advertising or the promotion of the product but it is not happening nowadays when we talk about the co created products sir. because it could lead to no acquisition of new, new consumers or into going to existing consumers not wanting others to imitate their styles or product attributes so the bigger question that remains unaddressed is how to convert negative word of mouth into positive for co created products which can bring more business to suppliers and ensure sustainability of their business so this this we are keeping this question in mind sir when we are the, the the new paper which i talked about the new study which we are looking into now so we are providing an answer to it we say that yes the dark side of co creation exists we talk about the negative effects we have read a lot about the negative effects of the co creation also this paper also talks about the negative effect of co creation but now the 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 uh, i mean moving a step further what we need to ponder upon is how to convert the negative effects into the positive so that is what you know we need to address this question so our intention is to provide an answer to this question when we are writing a new paper so in the discussion section we have already i mean we have just uh, provided the support of the previous literature was, uh, previous literature uh, and we have provided support to the findings of our studies uh, regarding those three hypotheses which so the last paragraph talks about the ccv process empowers the consumer so this is the basic objective of co creation a value that the consumers they feel empowered to control to effectuate the results of such a process because they are involved thoroughly they are involved in each and every step or step of co creation of value the probable solutions we propose to convert negative word of mouth to positive word for business sustainability are as follows the co creation process should result in greater investment of suppliers resources and their participation such as introducing the latest design and the firm should gain consumers confidence their trust also by providing unique designs and also by ensuring them that their designs would not be imitated they are the same designs you would not find in the apparel of any other consumer so then we discussed about the theoretical and the managerial implications managerial implications as you know so that depends upon the context and it would differ also but theoretical implications they are very much required now from where from where we would get the theoretical implications theoretical implications you would get from the new relationship which you have uh, discussed the new relationship which you have added in your proposed model so the first uh, we are the first so we are very confidently we are proposing here that we are the first to establish that in the process of co creation of value where consumers invest considerable resources and capabilities the outcome in terms of word of mouth may not necessarily be positive in an attempt to maintain distinctiveness cause consumers prefer to either not disclose the names of the producer or the producer or spread negative word of of mount about them so i mean uh, nobody even as of now also people are talking about you know the negative effects and negative sides the dark side of the co creation of value so but uh, nobody is talking about i mean the, the resources 
which are being shared by the two parties and in which proportion the resources should be shared because consumers they always wanted the, the greater resources should be invested by the suppliers but the suppliers they want that because we are allowing the consumers to participate to so greater resources should come from the consumers so still there is a tussle which is going on in this regard the resulting negative word of mouth is due to our study setting of co-creation of value in the context of designing apparel products if the co-creation of value process demands more resources of the consumers than the producers individuals they are apprehensive about sharing their experience and expertise so again so we are going to provide that how to convert negative word of mouth to positive one then managerial implications and at the end we have to give the limitations of our study and future research agenda our future research agenda would become the research gap for the new studies sir. so i mean <clears throat> with this uh, the remaining sections of the paper also they they are over so questions from your side sir yes ma'am couple of questions so yes ma'am yes. So first thing, ma'am, uh, while going for uh, data analysis part, you have very beautifully defined the two things. First is the assumptions and second is the model robustness parameters. So in the assumptions, you have checked the normality by skewness and the kurtosis method. There are other methods also. Though also, uh, yes. scholars will be confused because we repeatedly say that Likert scale data is seldom uh, uh, normally distributed. But normally yeah. distributed. Yeah, but then there are a couple of uh, things you can uh, use any of these. There are statistical methods also. Skewness kurtosis is again a good method for that. Then before... so one paragraph in ben, in only a very small paragraph, you need to you know discuss about the assumptions. Yes, yes. exactly, exactly. And outlier and all these uh, you can talk. Exactly. About. Then uh, second thing is, ma'am, uh, you have explained the structural uh, robustness parameters. Mm -hmm. You discussed about the reverse causality about the alternative model. You have also taken the sort of, uh, like you said, now you can take a marker variable, which can be a priori marker variable. It's always good yes, for sir. common method bias. Yes. yes, sir. I think the scholars can also go at the time of data collection, collect the data in two waves, maybe dependent variable some other time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree. So gap of after gap of three months. So this yeah. is how you can actually prevent. You yes. can prevent the common method biasness also. So yes. this is one of the preventive measures which you, with mm -hmm. the scholars, they can follow that they can go for first the uh, dependent variable. They can collect the data regarding dependent variable and then later on after gap of three months, they can go for the independent variable from the same set of respondents. Uh, right. From right. the same from same respondents. The same. So, so they that's... can match the scores. Yes. Sir. Yes. So, and uh, then these days, some uh, people say you should check whether uh, there is sort of a fatigue, uh, like uh, in the initial data, in the later data, there should be uh, similar or similarity of the data should be there. So that yes. you can say, okay, yes. the selected data is corrected. And then yes. you went ahead with AMOS using all sort of the models. Uh, you used model fitness and then others independent, uh, direct effect, indirect effect, and you explained also. Some of the yes. time scholars are confused and I've seen even in the PhD report, whatever is the data analysis, the same is written in the conclusion also. Almost same things are written. So you told that it need to be supplemented with the previous study. Yes, sir. That is more important. And second, this yes. is the time where you can really focus on the research gaps. Like all yes, the, out of the three hypotheses, you focus most on the mediation because that is your mediation. contribution. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is the most yes, important sir. out of it. Yes, sir. So in the discussion section, yes, sir, what we need to focus more is uh, the hypothesis which gets rejected. Hmm. Because you need to provide a proper justification and explanation to it hmm. that why in your case the hypothesis gets rejected. Hmm. So right. that is important, sir, in, in the discussion section. Right. So we, we need to bring other hypotheses also, but the focus should be more on the hypothesis which gets rejected. And that's why scholars, most of the time, they are worried about, you know, what if our hypothesis gets rejected? So I say that, you know, that is always good. Actually a good thing. It helps you to establish novelty, some uniqueness yeah. in your study. Yeah. Otherwise, what, <clears throat> what new you are talking, what yeah. new you are talking if all your hypothesis tends accepted? Exactly. Very true. <coughs> Very true. 
so ma'am uh, then uh, implications we have given theoretical and the uh, managerial implication and, and finally limitation and the future research so yes, a couple of more questions are there ma'am not directly related with this particular paper like ma'am you said that uh, this paper uh, seen a long journey being rejected and i understand you must have submitted it a couple of times to different journals so how yes, much sir. change will be required when you send it to the different journal ah yes sir i mean this the final outcome of this and whatever you have seen today this paper is actually a very refined paper after two three rejection rejections when i say re in rejection there is always a scope for revision mm -hmm. they would always give you know their detailed comments also mm -hmm. so those comments have actually helped us to revise and to refine our paper mm -hmm. and this is the outcome of those three revisions sir basically right right yes sir and i have also seen i mean if i would see that the very initial the very first draft of the paper and this final published paper so there is you would find in certain cases you would find that uh, the positioning of the paper gets changed mm. altogether mm. and the entire paper also gets revamped mm. and you are yourself surprised at it you know this how it has taken a very different shape and you know uh, the paper is altogether a new paper in that case correct ma'am and i think uh, every journal says uh, we have a potential target audience or we deal with a particular this particular uh, section like in your case it's a journal of consumer research so consumer must be there in that or consumer decision making yes sir yes sir uh, <clears throat> so in certain cases uh, like uh, what is expected is beside giving the in theoretical implications managerial implications what else is required is nowadays is the policy implications so i mean that is that is for very few uh, journals but they are focusing more on the instead of focusing on the managerial implications they are focusing more on the uh, i mean the policy implications or social implications rather i would say social implications also because we 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 are accountable to the society the businesses they are accountable to the society so what are what are the implications for the society in general so i mean it is better if you can also work on the social implications Yeah. of your study so ma'am regarding the bibliography references did you use any software yes. for that or it's written manually software software no sir no so actually uh, in every journal's guideline or author's guideline they would clearly mention the format the references format they mm -hmm. would always tell you so most of the cases you know it is uh, the apa style which they mm -hmm. prefer and uh, in this case also i think we have given the apa style but i could see that you know they use a uh, different software to convert uh, that into their own you know whatever is their requirement so they must have used the software sir because i could see that it is it is not an apa style here which okay. is being followed some some friends yes, recommend sir. mendeley but there are certain issues in mendeley also some things yes sir there 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 are great issues and those issues are also i mean at the time you know you get confused also and you are frustrated also by using mandalay mm. because you are you are not able to make the changes like suppose within the brackets it is at all dot comma mm. but when it is outside the bracket it is at all mm. there is no comma but it will mm. show you comma also so you right. need to do everything manually okay so ma'am uh, you said uh, the we will discuss at last about the abstract part so can we discuss oh, yes now? yes 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 thank you for reminding me because uh, it was almost out of my mind <laughs> so in the abstract now you know now we are ready once a scholar is ready you know after writing the paper now a scholar is ready to write the to go for an abstract abstract should be written at the end only and now uh, we can just refresh that what we have discussed so the extent literature we have talked about the impact of value co creation on consumers need for differentiated products and we have shown that in the abstract we have written that you know it is sparse it is very limited so the present study examines the role of consumers need for differentiation in relating value co creation with the consumers word of mouth to foster the competitive advantage we investigate the effects of innovation differentiation and market differentiation these are the two dimensions of consumers need for differentiation sir uh in case of micro businesses abilities to co create value and generate positive word of mouth which ultimately helps them to sustain their revenues we collect data from a sample of 196 female consumers who participated in the co creation process 
used in the micro businesses to design trendy apparel. We use structural modeling to test the hypothesis, having a strong desire for differentiation in their dresses. So these consumers, they invest their resources, their skills, capabilities, their expertise also in designing their own apparel. The results show that value co-creation not only leads to consumers' need for differentiated product, also results in negative word of mouth. More particularly, value co-creation leads to differentiated offerings, but consumers desirous of possessing unique products do not spread positive words about the professional designer. As a result, sustaining economic development in emerging economies dominated by micro and small businesses is still a big challenge. So in the abstract, the very first line should be your contribution. Contribution in the sense the originality of your paper, the uniqueness, the novelty, you should start with that. Then second line, you should talk about your objective of your study. In the third line, you can talk about the methodology in one single line, and to whom you have contacted, then which technique you have used to analyze, then your findings of your study, and maybe one implication if you can give at the end. So this is how... Uh, Wonderful. Not really an abstractist. Wonderful. And ma'am, how to choose the keywords? Ah, yes, the keywords, basically the words which are commonly used throughout the paper. Like in our case, we have seen that value co-creation, we have used the term quite often. Consumers need for differentiation, we have used. These are main constructs. And sometimes, you know, like uh, micro businesses, the context also, because we have talked about the micro con uh, businesses quite often, word of mouth. So the first three are the construct, the main constructs, and the fourth one is our context. Sir. Okay. So normally, yes, sir, this is how we go about. Okay. And ma'am, finally, coming to the title of the paper, how the title of yes, the sir. paper is chosen? Like ah, yes, sir. I mean, again, not that easy. So mm. in, it, this is very simple. <laughs> Assessing co-creation based competitive. But it has to be very catchy. It has to be very attractive also. In certain journals, I've seen that they prefer uh, something like uh, in, a, in a question form. Title should be in a question form. So right. that, you know, uh, so that that interest of the reader, it remains intact right. while going through the paper. Because you are looking for an answer to that question. Right. The answer would come at the end only. For that, you have to read the entire paper. <laughs> so, I mean, you have to be very selective while um, actually, and, and again, you know, two, three exercises are required. Initially, you think something else and then mid middle, and when you are you are done with your analysis and research, then you maybe you know, your, you, your title changes at the end. Then again, you have a relook on your title and they finally, you know, once you are done with your abstract and everything, and then finally you decide whether and it is more or less a consensus uh, has to be built among the Authors. contributors, mm -hmm. authors. So yes. Is it, is so it possible, is, like, is it a common practice that the editor and the reviewers also ask to change the title or keyword? Sometimes, 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 yes, sometimes. If they feel that your topic does not capture your entire study, mm -hmm. I mean, if it is, you know, maybe or something which we call it, uh, if suppose that I focus more on uh, co-creation of value and consumers need for differentiation, but I've used the word, instead of word of mouth, I've used the term competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, I mean, it has to be catchy, so nowadays this is what they expect. Yes. The title has to be very attractive and catchy. Ma'am, while explaining the paper, you have used a couple of times the word, the dark side of co-creation. I was just wondering, like, uh, can the title be made using that also? Uh, the dark yes, side. sir. I mean, in this case, in this way, in this case, we could not, because I told you that, you know, that time, uh, there were not many papers which talked about the negative word of mouth. And that's why we could not propose uh, the negative word of mouth in our hypothesis also. But now what we are, the paper which we have started writing now, so that is basically converting those, that negative side or the negative effects of co-creation into the positive. So the question, of, the question being raised at the end of this paper, we are going to provide an answer to this question in our uh, next paper, sir. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Yes. And ma'am, uh, like some of the time experts suggest that uh, the journal where you are submitting, you should once go through this journal also about uh, whether your topic has been published or not. And if it is published, yes. then those references are mandatory in your paper. Yes, sir. Is yes, sir. Normally, reviewers, they look into it, that the journal which you have targeted, so whether, uh, whether you have cited few papers, the related papers, 
the pertinent uh, research work, whether you have cited from that journal or not. Mm -hmm. That is required because you should know that if suppose, sir, I'm, uh, I'm about to submit this paper in the journal, Journal of Retailing and Consumer Services, I should know that uh, what all has been published in this journal with regard to our study. Mm -hmm. So we need to, we need to, I mean, we need to cite those papers also, sir. Correct, ma'am. So ma'am, now I'm fully convinced uh, when you said that it's basically a long process of writing and uh, rejection and rewriting. And it's yes. basically an art you learn over the period of time. It's not a yes. formula based that you just no. keep all ingredients and the things are done. It's a long process of uh, art. Yes, sir. And, art. And, and, and you, you must have realized, sir, how much did I focus on the research technique? Absolutely. Very, very little. Very little. <laughs> very little. Absolutely. I mean, hardly 5 to 10%. Mm. That too. For just for hypothesis testing, sir, that's it. That's it. And uh, this is, again, people got a misconception. They say in 2022, Amos is dead. So there is no such thing. You are publishing no, wonderful I, papers. I don't right agree. Mm. I don't agree, sir. <laughs> mm, wonderful, ma'am. So basically, contribution is more important than the techniques. What you bring on the table, what you originality, novelty, that's far more important. That's true. That's true, mm. sir. So either in the way of extending the existing theory mm. or in the way of integrating the two theories from two different disciplines or in the way of what we have done, like reputing the theory. Mm. Correct. It has to be. Something has to be there. Mm then definitely your paper will get published. So in our case, we were unfortunate that they were not ready to accept that we are refuting the existing theory. Absolutely. It is more difficult to refute the theory, sir. Absolutely. And that's uh, such a long term, like uh, we always say that the positive uh, satisfaction leads to positive word of mouth and vice versa. So you refute yes, this theory. Yes. Okay. Wonderful, ma'am. Any any final uh, observation, comments from your side before we can go to the session? So only thing is that, you know, what I've seen, because uh, I keep on interacting with the, the scholars from uh, the different parts of our country. What I've seen is they are... Uh, they are good in, uh, you know, using the different, different techniques. But for writing a paper, what they need to do is they, they need to bring that seriousness in themselves while reviewing the literature. So review of the literature, they should do it very seriously. Because then only the research gap would emerge. And, and most of the times what I've seen is that if as, as, as an examiner also, thesis, if I have to examine a thesis, so if I conduct the viva voice, I ask them, what is the research problem? They are not aware of the research problem, sir. So these, I mean, these are the two things which are actually required. One is the research problem, why you undertook this study. Secondly, what is important is the research gap. They should be confident about the research gap. The rest of the things are manageable, sir. The rest of the things you can easily manage because the review, the reviewer would suggest revision if they feel convinced that there is a research problem and there's a research gap also. Mm -hmm. And for rest of the things, even if you lack, but you know, they, they, are, they are ready to provide you an opportunity to revise your paper and to resubmit it. Mm -hmm. But if there is no research problem, there is no research gap, then there is no revision. Correct. Very true. Very true. So ma'am, is it uh, possible like uh, we can have one more session for any yes. doubts related to this paper or the art of paper writing? So we can... Yes, ask, sir. Yes, sir. Why not? Why not, not, sir? Sure, sir. Sure, them. sir. So we can have that yes, sir. maybe some other time. Sure. Thank sure, you sir. very much, sure, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Namaskar.